five, four, three, two, one. We're here at First Love Studios in Nottingham to film some new videos. <laughs> one, two, oh, oh, yeah. Uh, as you'll know by now, I'm making like a live studio album. I kind of want them all to look and feel a bit different. Uh, we're kind of cheating today and we're in the live room of the studio and we're going to actually be using three zones which all kind of look a little bit different. And the first setup is here. Um, I'm doing the MGMT song Kids, my, my version of it. And I kind of want to talk you through what's going on so you actually know how I'm doing it. Because the concept is that it's going to be live playing, live recording, live mixing, adding effects in real time, but it's sort of done in the studio quality, so it's all going to sound really good. So I guess I'm going to talk, well hopefully sound really good, I'm going to talk you through what I've got. The hub of everything is the loop pedal. This is where everything is recorded into, everything is looped, you know, drums here, bass lines here, and whatever else here, and bring them out independently. Um, now I have everything goes through, I have my microphone, just one for this one which goes into a kind of nice shape sculptor. My guitar is the next one that goes in through this lovely uh, sans amp and then comes straight into the mixer here. Now this all roots through this chaos pad which is kind of a effects machine and then goes through into my loop pedal. So essentially all the sound is coming through the mixer and into the chaos pad which I'm doing that because I can add effects real time as I go. Then everything gets looped up in there and the output of here goes into my sound card and into the computer so it's kind of down to me to record it all, get the levels right and I'm the sound engineer today as well. Um, so it could all go horribly wrong. And that's what it is, so yeah this track that we're doing MGMT and uh, we're going to move around and do a couple of my own tracks where I'm going to be surrounded by microphones. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> yeah, one, two, ah! Yes! Cool. Yeah, right. Wicked. Let's have a listen back to that one on the big screen. <laughs> Just well, I'm uh, actually doing the uh, cliche honey and lemon thing, which it's not like my voice is not working, but in my head this means that it's going to be crystal clear and pure all day. Simon again in his uh, kitchen. Oh, that one. Do not like putting um, and then, yeah, the, yeah. Just, yeah, um, just give me it Did it in the morning, it's quite exactly. early, like, early to be singing, but yeah, then it yeah, just did just quite just well, well on the internet. And here, now just that's when I just thought, right, well, this is. I was really encouraged by the fact that people were downloading the audio yeah. and you know, watching that's it seems to be into it, so I thought, well, this is the perfect way to present an album, like a beatboxing album, especially because. So many beatboxing albums, there are they are out there, but there's people, you know, they cut up the sounds and you never really know what is what. And it's produced in normally such a way that it sounds great, but you, it, you kind of, there's, there's, it's just joined the element of the actual beatboxing and production you, that you never know what's what. So this is great because the idea is people can see what I'm doing as I'm doing it. So I'm really happy you kind of stumbled upon the idea. But. Okay, here we are in the theatre of the old library studios in Mansfield, set up, ready to do Fug in D and B minor, video styley. Uh, I'm just going to show you what I've got. Uh, it's just vocals, so I've got a couple of microphones. I've got a nice handheld condenser and a nice condenser microphone. Got a nice compressor here, which kind of, if you set it right, can compress 
certain bits a bit more than others and uh, certain vocals can poke through. Then I have another preamp here for the other microphone. This all goes through into my mixer so I can get the levels right and then that comes through this effects box here where I can uh, manipulate the effects as I go and then into my loop pedal where I can arrange it and build up the loops as I go and then that all gets recorded into my sound card here and hopefully it's going to go all nice and smooth we're just doing one today and uh, ready to rock drum and bass style okay five four three two one It's the amount of stuff you got to think about. It's just like brain frying. Oh no, it is. Shit. I'm rolling on three cameras, man. Alright, should we go? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do I do? Just, yeah, just give us a click in front of that one. And if you can do one in front of the other one. Great. I miss you but I'm not gonna crack I love you but I'm not gonna crack Or when I kill you but I'm not gonna crack It's raining anyway, man. <laughs> right. Yeah, one, two, ah. Uh. Yeah, we're gonna need some. One, two, ah. Uh. Okay, here we are at the setup for the vodka track. Uh, now, this is just because it's just beatboxing. I thought it would be great to, you know, to get the best quality sound to use different microphones. And the reason I'm doing that is because. This microphone here, the D6, it's got a really good bass response, so I'll do the bass lines in there and it's all nice and big and meaty. Uh, this one here, this is plugged into my loop pedal. Uh, this one here is a nice condenser, which is also plugged in. I'm going to do like the trumpets, which will be looping into that one. I also have this one, a nice handheld condenser. And uh, this is also plugged in, this is good for kind of direct sounds. And I've got this one here, which is a separate feed, which is the live, uh, the main vocal top line. And yeah, so it's just like, my thinking is that I have to use what I've got, which is my mouth. I'm doing the whole thing with just the voice. So it's maximising the sound on its path in between, from my mouth to the loop pedal, I guess. So that's why I thought I'd do this, and plus it looks pretty cool as well. Five, four, three, two... One. <laughs> 
it's hurting so much, it's going to take loads of goes to get it right. Yes, millions of goes. Probably about 50. Yeah. Yeah, no. Um, I don't more. Like that. That's going too far. <laughs> All right, yeah, probably like 20. 10, 10 goes. Down, down, down. Cut. Go. Tunes of heart. Sorry, mate. <laughs> With this one, uh, I had to have headphones because I couldn't have like um, you know monitor speakers playing because I was using sensitive mics. So I had to use these little bud earphones, which means that everyone just heard the straight voice. That one's done. Vodka one's finished. And did quite a quick yeah. what's after that? Uh, the last one I'm going to do is Panther Dance. Another one of my tracks. It's my favourite. Why did you change the name? Uh, because I realised it's not like a cover of the Pink Panther. It's got the Pink Panther, like, trumpet. I called it this, the Pink Panther dance, and then I just thought, well... A bit pink. It's a bit yeah. Pink Panther. Bit pink. Like, like I'm doing yeah. Pink Panther, which it wasn't the idea. I was just like, did the solo in the top. I was like, oh, that fits. So you know, you're just referencing the Pink Panther. Pete, Pete Panther dance. Shift everything up. Don't want to go all bling. That's in private. Mm -hmm. oh, I feel like I'm... You know, the man's got a rhythm calling. It seems man rhythms come calling with him play. With the music never leaves his mind. Hourglass. See, these might look good as they are, because the, they're going to be so out of focus anyway. Shop. <laughs> phone in there, should I really? Yeah, look at that! Okay. okay, hang on. shoot for the last video of my album. Uh, I'm doing I Get Around by the Beach Boys, which is quite a, a tricky one. Uh, I'm doing this one a little bit different. Usually it's everything recorded live and performed live. Um, but I've done it a bit differently this time because there's so many harmonies and it would take so long to build up on a loop pedal. I've sampled my voice previous to the session and I've recorded it in and I'm going to be triggering the individual sounds of me on this pad here. So I've got the drums. Like that, and then I've got all the different harmonies, so it'll be one, it'll be here. I get around, 
I get around, round, round, I get around. And all the separate ones. I get around, I get around, round, round, I get around. But together. I get around, I get around, round, round, I get around. Like that. Um, and so the idea of that is I can kind of play myself live as a sort of, my, my sounds are pre-recorded, but I'm playing it all live in order to create the full effect of loads of Beach Boys together. And that all goes, as usual, through my kind of loopers and effects that I have here and my trusted loop pedal to finish it off. So we'll uh, see how this one goes. How are you going to get your feet up here? I'm doing yoga. My buddies and me are getting real well known Yeah, and the bad guys know us and they leave us alone I get around, get around, round, round, I get around 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 I get around The flares, the things that you try to make. Little bits of light. Just get it really almost robotic in its accuracy. That is fucking ace. Loving that. Jeez. You fucking smashed it. Apart from him in the frame. It's a wrap. Yeah. It's a wrap. That's it. Finish for the day. Been a long day. 12 hours.